Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel Silkef. In this video, I am going to discuss about web angle connection. Here you can see this is a column and this is a beam in which this beam is connected to the column through the angle which is nothing but web angle. Here I already discussed about my fundamental principles which I have to keep in mind and also I suggested you to keep in which it is going to be play key role that is what is the connection type that first one and also purpose and application of this connection next coming to the other things that is failure mechanism of connection and also design aspects or checks of this connection these are very very important while learning about the connection now first thing what is this connection type this connection type is shear connection why this is shear connection because here clearly the web of the beam is connected to the column in which there is a transfer of shear only and also i have clearly discussed about the moment and shear connection in my previous videos please go through that so that you can get the clear picture regarding the moment and shear connection now to make this beam as simply supported this angle is used in which the beam is simply rested on this whatever the angle so that it act as a simply supported beam now coming to the failure mechanism it's, let's discuss this failure mechanism in the next slide and coming to the design aspects or checks here whenever this beam is simply supported on this angle there is a generation of reaction at this angle for example let us consider this as r as a reaction now this corresponding reaction r is going to act as a shear across this red color bolts and also we have to check for the bearing of this bolts also now whatever the beam which is connected to the column there is a clear gap between this beam and column which is about 2 to 5 mm which i have already discussed in case of seated angle connection also there is also 2 to 5 mm gap is provided why we have to provide this 2 to 5 mm gap whatever the flexibility we are going to increase in the connection that means if we are not going to provide this whatever the gap there is an increase in the rigidity of the connection the, when there is an increase in the rigidity of the connection there is a transfer of moment also to arrest that whatever the moment transfer we are going to provide this whatever the clear gap okay now whatever the reaction it is going to transfer as shear and also bearing in the bolts next coming to the whatever the bolts which are connected to the flange of the column for example if you consider this eccentricity of the whatever the reaction with the bolts which is connected to the flange of the column as e now whatever the corresponding bolts which are connected to the flange is going to resist whatever the bending moment which is generated due to the reaction are. and also there is a transfer of shear also across the bolts now i already discussed about this connection these bolts are nothing but eccentric out of plane connection in that case there is a transfer of bending moment and also shear if you are strong in your fundamentals only then you can go in depth of the connections otherwise you it is very difficult to learn about the connections the fundamentals are that is in eccentric in plane eccentric out of plane and also basic bolted connections basic welded connections in all these things you have to be perfect so that you can learn in depth connections so this is regarding the whatever the web angle connection now here you can see for example this is a total depth d of the beam and whatever the depth of this whatever the angle is going to be 0.6 times the d maximum d you can provide is that is 0.75 d now if you are going to provide less than this 0.6 times total depth what will happen it is going to act as a pure shear connection and whatever the bolts which are connected to the flange of this column they are going to resist pure shear only there is no generation of the bending moment i told that whatever the beam which is connected to the flange is going to act as a simply supported beam in seated angle connection also i said same thing now what is the difference is whenever we are going to provide this type of connections there is a low labor cost that's why people prefer this type of connections 
when the beam is going to act as a simply supported beam and in theory they are going to assume this connection as a perfect pinned connection and in practice anyway it is a semi rigid connection why it is a semi rigid connection because it has very little moment carrying capacity and there is a significant flexibility in the connection now if there is any heavy load coming on to this beam and in that case i already explained about the seated angle you already provided the seated angle across the flange of the column and also flange of the beam and if you combine those seated angle and also along with this web angle you are going to get the whatever the higher resisting capacity of this connection so people prefer when there is a high load coming onto the beam at that time they prefer this whatever the seated angle combined with the web angle now let us understand about the failure mechanism of this web angle connection here you can see this is for example this is section is connected to the whatever the base and load is going to be applied in this direction and you can see this is the angle which is connected to the base For your understanding i consider this just as a example perfect web angle connection it is very difficult to find so that's why i consider this example and i am going to explain you the failure mechanism and as the load is going to be increased from the stage wise you can see the deformation in the angle and also see the failure or the deformation profile you can see in this whatever the angle and as the load is going to become very high in that situation here you can see there is a plastic hinge formation at the intersection of the vertical and horizontal leg of this angle and you can see the clear cut propagation of the crack at the intersection of horizontal and vertical leg and this is the failure of the angle section when there is a load which is acting at an eccentricity in the beam and you can see for example for heavier loads the bearing of the plate you can see here if the plate thickness is not enough to resist whatever the loads coming on to the plate in that case also whatever the plate is going to bear in this direction because of this bolts okay this is regarding the web angle connection and also whatever the angles which we are going to provide as the angle thickness is going to increase whatever the rigidity of the connection is going to be increased this is also very important point if you like my explanation please like the video and also subscribe for more videos i am going to do more types of connections in the upcoming videos thank you